name is Lasmil Tamia. I want to read and retell about the psychology of money. The psychology of money. Are you a compulsive spender or do you hold on to your money as long as possible? Are you a virgin hunter? Would you rather use charts account than pay cash? Your answer to this question will reflect your personality. According to psychologists, our individual money habits not only show our beliefs and values, but can also stem from past problems. Experts in psychology believe that for many people, money is the important symbol for strength and influence. Husbands who complain about their wives' spending habits may be afraid that they are losing power in their marriage. Wives, on the other hand, may waste huge amount of money because they are angry at their husband. In addition, many people consider money a symbol of love. They spend it on their family and friends to express love or they buy themselves expensive parents because they need love. People can be addicted to different things, example gratia, alcohol, drug, certain foods, or even television. They are compulsive in their addiction. They must satisfy these needs to feel comfortable. In the same way, according to psychologists, compulsive spenders must spend money for people who buy on credit, furthermore, charge account, or even more exciting than money. In other words, they feel that with credit, they can do anything. Their pleasure at spending enormous amounts is actually greater than the pleasure that they get from the things they buy. They buy. There is even a special psychology of virgin hunting. To save money, of course, most people look for sales, low prices, and discounts. Compulsive virgin hunter, however, often buy things that they don't need just because they are cheap. They want to believe that they are helping their budget, but they are really playing an exciting game. When they can buy something for less than other people, they are winning. Most people, expert claim, have to reason for their behavior, a good reason for the things that they do and the real reason. It is not only scientists, of course, who understand the psychology of spending habits, but also business people's stories. Companies and advertisers use psychology to increase business. They consider people's need for love, power, or influence, their basic values, their beliefs and opinions, and etc. In their advertising and sales method, psychologists often use a method called called behavior therapy to help individuals solve their personality problems. In the same way, they can help people who feel that they have problems with money. They give them assignments. If a person buys something in every store that he enters, for instance, a therapist might teach him self-discipline in this way. On the first day of his therapy, he must go he must go into a store, stay 5 minutes and then leave. On the second day, he should stay for 10 minutes and try something on. On the third day, he stay for 15 minutes, ask the sales chart a question but does not buy anything. Soon he will learn not, that nothing bad will happen to him if he doesn't buy anything. And he can solve the problem of his compulsive buying. Well, this story tells about how the people spend their money. Some people consider money is an important symbol for strength, influence, and symbol of love. Many people can save their money by buying discount items or at low prices, even though they don't really need the items. In my opinion, it's the same way, it's a wrong ways. And finally, the scientists, business people, stories, and comparison use psychology in their sales method and advertising to increase their business on the other way the people must go into a store stay five minutes and leave and doesn't buy anything it can better than before about spend their money okay thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh